Hi everyone, sorry about my hair, I washed it and I'm waiting for it to dry but this is my inspired 90s look I got inspired by um, Kylie Jenner and I just researched in the era that I was actually born and I saw a kind of similar look to this kind of like brown smoky eyes with this brownish nudish lip and I really loved it there's a bit of contouring going on too so if you want to see how to get this look keep on watching bye Hi guys, so I'm just using the Wet and Wild Primer here. This is just going to ensure that my eyeshadow lasts and I just apply it to the upper and um, lower lash line and the lid of course. Here I'm just blending this shade from Inglot. It is a kind of um, muted greyish purplish shade. I'm just literally applying it to my crease both eyes and then I just go on to blend it out so again I'm just getting another fluffy brush just making sure there's a nice gradient there I'm just using the comfort zone palette from wet n wild and I'm just applying the uh, neutral beige shade and this just apply this all over the lid this just creates a nice base that we're going to work on top of. Then I'm just working with the two darker shades in the palette here that I pointed to and I just literally place them in my crease using this angled brush from Sigma and then I move on to the other eye and then eventually we will blend this out. Just using the little techniques um, I think it's a blending brush but I use it for blending anyway and then I'm just going around with a fluffy brush and some face powder just to clean up any areas here I'm just placing the brow bone color in the inner part of my eye this is gonna open up the eye and stop it looking from so dark again I'm using two dark colors that I used in the crease underneath the eyes with the Real Techniques detailed brush this is going to allow me to get precise um, placing of this product and then again I just blend it under the eyes just because I don't want to make it look so perfect onto mascara I think we all know how to apply mascara this is the Clump Crusher by Covergirl which I love then I'm just going to try and perfect my skin got a bit of a breakout at the moment but this stuff by NARS literally covers so well that it was much needed so I literally just pat that into my skin then I am moving on to brows this is just um, Sleek's eyebrow stylist and I'm not paying too much attention to my brows today I'm literally just filling them in giving them a bit of shape and then I will brush them out with the spoolie on the end um, I focus most of this look on the eyes and the lips so if you want to go for really big brows that's up to you but I just want to keep mine quite simple Then I'm just moving on to contouring. This is um, Taupe by NYX and I'm just doing my lines. I'm so fair and this is seems to be a really ashy shade which is perfect for my fair skin because I find a lot of bronzes are too um, orangey based for me but this works really well. So if you're fair like me, I'd definitely go and have a look at this blush. Slash contouring but I think it's named after a blush which is kind of strange but oh well I love it I'm literally just blending that out I tend to make the shape and then I blend out to get the most out of contouring that just works for me personally then I am going to apply blush this is Santa Rose by Rimmel it's a really fair kind of light blush doesn't deposit too much colour but it still adds a bit of something there so you look healthy and alive. Then I'm just moving on to the lips. I have kept to a quite 
uh, nudish brownish colour here. I am just using Sublime Culture Lip Pencil by MAC and I'm just lining my lips. I had to get rid of my um, natural lip colour before I actually put this on so I just use some concealer for that. And then I just gradually fill them in once I've done the actual line and then I just move on to the lipstick which is Succumb by Sleek. So I'm literally just going to apply that and then that is the look all done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and I hope you enjoy the uh, very posy shots which are about to come up. My sister told me the other day that I should smile more which is probably true because I've realised I look a bit moody and miserable but I'm actually really not so this is kind of funny but um, yeah please like this video and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.